Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. <laughs> this is what I look like today. I'm gonna shut this door. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna show you how I did this look. Basically, I had this palette in my basket and I was so close to buying it and then I was like, nah. I'm not going to bother. I've seen enough videos to know that people are struggling with it. There's enough videos out there for you guys to see to get whatever impression you get from them. Like there's tons of tutorials out on it. And then I got home from a wedding yesterday to a package, not from Anastasia, I might add. It was from Cult Beauty because they just got the palette in their website. And I asked you guys on Snapchat if you wanted a tutorial. And you do. And you did. And I was actually really excited because I had big intentions, I was going to sit down and create a really gorgeous eye makeup for everyone that's bought it so far, show you guys how you can get a nice eye makeup out of it and also I was pretty sure in my head that I was going to be fine with the palette I've seen people struggle and I really should not, I shouldn't have been so stupid because the people that I've seen struggle are really talented makeup artists, really talented but for some reason I was like, oh I'm sure I'll be fine it was the most frustrating eye makeup I've ever done in my entire life. I have to stop halfway through and try it again. I've never had to do that in my entire life. And yeah, I didn't even know if I wanted to put this video up, but then I thought, why not? Because everyone else seems to be doing it. Yeah, just know that this is not coming from a bad place. I love Anastasia's products so much. This palette though, I just cannot get on board with. I, yeah, you'll see exactly what happens. You'll see what happens in the tutorial. If you would like to see how I created this look, then stay tuned. Hello. I'm going to first prepare my lid with Lay and Low Paint Pot. Everyone knows that I use this all the time. So today should not be any different. So I'm going to apply that with my beauty blender all over. I have done no other makeup. I'm going to finish, finish my face after I've done my eyes because from what I've seen, there's quite a lot of fallout. So it's going to be much easier for me to clean that up if I do not do my foundation first today. And I've not done my eyebrows either because I don't know what's going to happen. So I've done a nice layer of that. Not too thick. Just enough. And I'm going to apply that underneath my eye as well. As usual, I'm going to apply my powder. This is the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrushed Flawless Finish Powder in the shade 2 and I'm just going to mattify my lid quite a lot. I'm just packing that on. We're ready. Oh, I'm so nervous. Here it is. The Subculture Palette. Uh, I am a huge fan of the Modern Renaissance Palette. I think it's gorgeous. Obviously, there's so much, so much drama over an eyeshadow palette. There's people dying and everyone's losing their shit about an eyeshadow palette. So here's a subculture palette. Oh shit. Here's what it looks like. I have literally not touched it apart from the shade Fudge which I swatched and it looked pigmented, it looked fine and we're just going to use it. It comes with a little brush. I never really use the brushes that come with eyeshadow palettes. I might use this side, it's a bit dense. I could use that from my inner corner. This however is like fine. It's yeah, it's, it's fine. Okay, let's just do it. I'm going to take the little cover off the mirror. It's a nice mirror. It's one of the more expensive mirrors. I don't really know what look I'm going to do yet. I've not really decided. Right, I'm going to go in with the shade Roxy first. Here. Nice. It's like a peachy transition-y shade. Yeah, that's a nice colour. I'm going to do the same. I'm just using a Smith 232 brush. And I'm just using my usual window wiper movements and then bringing it up towards the brow. That's nice, honestly that is a nice colour. Um, it's blended fine. I think I'm going to go straight in with fudge. I'm going to use fudge now because I know that there were some, um, some swatches that showed that the fudge is different in this palette and in the modern renaissance. So I'm going to use the same brush and I'm going to just tap fudge. So fallout wise this one looks it just looks really soft, so my brush has kind of made little indentations in it. And this brush, I use it for everything. I use these brushes all the time, so I'm not, I'm not like overly shocked by that, to be honest. I've got a little bit of fudge. Building that up. I'm literally just touching it and then applying. I'm being pretty careful. It definitely looks more cooler toned than the other fudge. 
NYX 17 brush. I use this all the time as well. This is a clean one and I'm going to go in with the shade Roxy again. I'm going to try and blend that out a bit. I'm not sure. I'm not sure about that. I'm going to try do that on the other side. And I'm literally just picking up the tiniest amount of pigment before blending it. I'm just doing it kind of bit by bit. Okay, I'm going to try and blend that out again. This is quite powdery. This is so weird. It, it's oh, it's okay. It doesn't look bad, but it's it's not easy. Like it's so strange because I know that fudge fudge used to be my favourite colour, and I had it as a single, and I would use it all the time. And this is not what fudge looks like. This looks dark and almost grey, and it is not going on easy. I thought that I would I would be kind of fine to be honest doing this. But it's not easy. I'm just going to go over it again with that Roxy shade just to try and make it look smooth. Like I feel like I almost want to reach in for my like Coco Bear from Makeup Geek because I know that that just goes on like whoosh, easy peasy. But I'm struggling to build this up and for it to look nice. I feel like nervous dipping in. I'm like, oh, just touch it a little bit. Right, that looks okay. I feel like we're pretty blended. The lid is all right. The lid is not kind of going too funny. But I've just been going back and forth and back and forth and then placing some on and then blending it out. I think I'm going to go in with the shade All Star now. I'm going to go in with the 17 brush. That one's not as powdery. That one seems to be pressed differently. Um, and I'm just going to apply that over top to see, see what happens. That's better. Right, I feel like that colour's kind of saved it a little bit. I'm bringing it right into my inner corner just so I can try and make it look as smooth as possible. That colour seems to have helped me blend the fudge shade into the warm shade. But again, it shouldn't be that difficult. It shouldn't be that hard to blend a warm brown colour. I'm just going in with that Roxy shade again. I don't think that's terrible. I don't think it's that bad. I need to go in with fudge again because it's not even. Okay, okay, okay. I don't really know what to do underneath my eye. I might use the blue. Look. I've just been holding the palette and it's all falling on my hand. Okay. <laughs> let's use um let's use untamed first. Again, that one's not that powdery. And I used I do this. I like pat into eyeshadows before I use them. I'm going to use this under my eye. Ooh. And then I'm going to use Axis. Oh, that right, that one's not powdery at all. Strange. And I'm just putting that right in the outer corner. That's nice. Okay, that's looking alright actually, it's not looking bad. Uh, now I'm going to use my 17 brush. Oh, I feel like I need to use one of these colours. I'm going to try New Wave. Oh, I'm going to try a little bit of New Wave on my lid to see if that helps blend it out. Right, I don't really know what to do from here. It looks a little bit disjointed. And I've already done a dark lid like last week. I'm going to swatch a Dorn. That actually looks quite nice. Maybe I'll try that. Nothing's happening. I'm going to try Adorn, which is the goldy shade, with the brush that they gave you in the palette. That's not bad. Yep, yeah, I like that. I'm really not sure about it. I think it's my fault because I don't really like what I've done on my eyes. It looks really wishy-washy. It looks a bit like a mess, to be honest. I'm going to try Access in my crease. Yeah, I'm going to just try and turn it into a bit of a blue look. So I'm just using my Smith brush. Oh, I hate this. Right, I'm just going to keep going. 
No, this is actually the worst eye makeup I've ever done in my entire life. I feel really bad. I don't think it's the palette's fault. I think it's maybe a joint effort. I don't think that it's easy to create a look from this. Like, see, going into it and not really knowing what I was going to do, I messed up because I don't like what I've done at all. I try to use too many of the colours, but at the same time, I do want to be able to use more than a couple of colours for the look to look nice. I'm going to take it off and I'm going to try it again. Yeah, I'm going to take it off and try it again. Hello. Let's try this again. I'm going to just do a makeup look that I'm going to definitely like. I'm not going to use all the colours. I know already that I'm going to use New Wave in my crease, then Roxy, and then fudge all over my lid, and that's it. I'm going to use, yeah, those three colours. I'm going to use Dawn first, all over, New Wave, Roxy, fudge all over, and that's it, because... As soon as I reached into those blues, it's when things started to go tits up. So I'm going to use Dawn all over New Wave in my crease, and I'm just using the same motions. And I'm using my MAC 224 brush. But all I do when I'm applying eyeshadow is I literally tap it twice and apply and I do that all the time. I never swirl my brush. I never go into it too heavy handed. That's fine. Now I'm going to go in with Roxy. And we're going to go in the crease. Mm. There's actually no point in me doing that because Roxy is coming out lighter on my lid than that yellow shade. So I'm not sure. I'll use it anyway though. And now I'm going to swap and I'm going to use a dense brush. I'm going to use my Smith 247 brush and the shade Fudge and I'm going to use it all over my lid. And I'm going to bring it up just the same as I usually do with my dark smokes. I'm going to bring it up and over my crease. Okay, I'm going to again and show you what's happening. So this is what's going on right now. I'm just putting more and more on because it seems to skip a little bit on my lid. Can you see that? Right, I'm going to swap back to my 224 brush from MAC. I'm just going to try and blend that up. Look. I'm going to try using the New Wave colour to blend it out. Jesus Christ. Right, I'm just going to try and finish this off. Um, I'm going to use fudge with a smaller brush and I'm just going to smoke it out. I'm literally touching it once before anyone says that I'm putting too much product on. I'm touching it once. Like, that's fine. That's nice. Oh my God. Right, I'm going to zoom you back out and just try and fix this. I should do it. Wee! Even though I do not feel very wee right now. This is really frustrating. <sighs> Look. I can't do this. I genuinely can't do this. Okay, I can't. I'm done. I'm done. <laughs> I really wanted to like this palette and I really wanted to do a look that would look really nice because I know a lot of people bought this palette. I tried my hardest. I did the first look, it was looking okay um, and then I suppose I tried to add in too many of the colours and it ended up just looking really really messy. Tried it again. I do this look all the time using pretty much any other brand of eyeshadow. I use NYX, I use Morphe even, I use, what else have I done this with? Makeup Geek, loads of different brands. I do this all the time. Warm transition shade, brown all over, lashes. It's classic, it looks nice. It's like the easiest thing ever. Is that you, Jack? Yep. Come and look at this. Have you ever seen my eye makeup look like this? No, what's wrong with it? This is what's wrong with it. Shite. Yeah, yeah. It doesn't look good. I've tried it twice. I thought you didn't like doing bad videos. 
I have to, yeah, basically I really wanted to love this. I think that Anastasia's products are brilliant. I really like the Modern Renaissance palette. I really like the single eyeshadows. I really like the brow products. I love the brow gel. I use it all the time. And to be honest with you guys, getting really, really real right now, I have had absolutely zero support from that brand. And I still continue to buy their stuff. I still continue to use it because it's good. So you know that that's like a legitimate feeling. Um, I do not recommend this. Never, ever in my life have I had to stop doing what I was doing and take it off and try it again. Never. And I'm not saying that as in I'm the best makeup artist in the world, because I'm not, but I know how to put eyeshadow on and honestly, it's so frustrating when you just can't. So, that's it. I hope you like it. And yeah, okay. <laughs> I'll see you in the next one. Love you, bye.